going to find your salvation, where you're going to find your deliverance, where you're going to find your blessing. Don't mistake the storm as the absence of God. God has never been absent in your life. But what I'm going to tell you right now is going to shock you. The moment God promises you something, when he says, I promise you something good, get ready for a battle. Do you hear me? When God says, I promise you heaven on earth, I promise you good health, get ready for a battle. You do not soldier on for a battle with thinking of yesterday. Oh, yesterday my life was good. Yesterday everything was moving. But look now, things are not moving. The moment God promised you, the battle has begun. I'm going to tell you just one or two promises of God. It says, when we go to Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good, not to dis for disaster. To give you a future of hope. Already that promise, battle in the enemy's field. Already that promise itself has created a battle. So in that battle, God is saying, I am with you. When we go on to the, up the promises of God, God promises you never fails you. That is in Joshua 21 verse 45. It says God is always good. That is Psalms 19 verse 68. God is always with me. That is Joshua 1 verse 9. God is faithful. That is Hebrews 10 verse 23. God is kind and compassionate. Isaiah 54 verse 10. God designed me for a purpose. Ephesians 2 verse 10. God loves me deeply no matter what I am facing. That is Timothy 1 verse 9. God's presence brings joy in my life. That is Psalm 16 verse 11. Then it says God always uh, fill us overflowing with hope uh, that is Romans 15 uh, verse 13 uh, God will be your strength and he will be your pillar that is Isaiah 41 verse 10 uh, God will give you wisdom James 1 verse 5 those are God's promises in your life. So when those promises come, a storm begins to rumble in your life. You are at this end and you are meant to get to that end. You are going to fight. You are going to fall. You are going to pass through temptation. But you got to keep on going. You better keep on going. You better keep on rocking because God is waiting for you. When that ship breaks, when the ship breaks, the problems are too many. They are overwhelming you. You keep on going. You keep on going. Going. You keep on going because there is the light at the end of the tunnel. God is waiting for you at the end of the tunnel. When the ship is rocking, it is pulling you down. You cannot take it anymore. The waters is above you. You cannot. You are drowning. You are drowning. But it says in, your, in his word, I will never fail you. You are drowning. You are sinking. But God is with you in the battle. I say God is with you in the battle. So in that battle, it's either you are going to crawl, you are going to fall down, you are going to run. Sometimes when you're running, you feel like you're running in one spot. You are running in one spot. You can't move. You can't move.